All right, so my thoughts on Sean Porter getting a unanimous decision over Adrian Granados. Uh, and it was a good fight. It was a fun fight to watch and everything. Um, just a just a straight up slugfest, really. Uh, it was especially the early rounds, like the first about five six rounds. It was you know toe to toe, back and forth. Um, fought on relatively even terms, as far as I as as far as I saw. Um, the, the moments where Porter was able to do really well wasn't so much where he kind of physically outmuscled Granados, which is where I thought he was really going to to make the difference. I, th- I thought he was going to just kind of bully Granados and be able to kind of beat him up, bust him, bu- bust him up and beat him down. Um, but it was really more so the the hand speed, uh, and especially with the jab when he would kind of triple up and quadruple up on the jab, he actually had the mo the biggest advantage that he could potentially have um when he would try to really bully Granados in the in a similar fashion as he's done to a number of other opponents as he did to Berto as he did to Thurman um you know in sp- to to varying degrees of success um Granados was actually able to not only fight back with him but even back him off on on a few occasions uh, which actually really surprised me i mean he definitely showed a hell of a chin uh you know showed that Porter's power isn't necessarily like the the vicious, the destructive knockout artist stuff that a lot of people, I think, started to um, look at him as uh, when he knocked out Pauli Malanagi as, as brutally as he did, um, and even you know r- roughed up the the hell out of uh, Devin Alexander a couple years back. Um, but as it got probably about to the sixth to the ninth round, is where Porter started to appear to kind of pull away with it and where I guess you know most people saw Porter actually pulling away with it you know period point blank uh, but the last couple of rounds is specifically the 11th and the 12th Porter looked hurt hurt very badly and um, really he should have uh, he should have gotten a knockdown called um, especially I think I th- I'm pretty sure it was in the 12th there was a number of times where his gloves straight up touched the ground the straight up touched the canvas um, and the ref was on some bullshit. The ref straight up saved Porter's ass in there, as far as I'm concerned. Um, no, not necessarily to say that Granados was going to stop him like outright, absolutely. Um, but it looked like he was about to drop him, if not once, maybe twice, uh, and you know potentially be on his way to stopping him. I mean, the Porter was walking around drunk for a, a few seconds when the ref basically inexplicably broke them up, and then he started, he kept shoving the shit out of Granados, get pushing his ass backwards, I was waiting, waiting for Granados to start throwing punches at the ref, you know what I mean, he was fighting two guys at once in there, um, which is why I think it's really a shame, now that you got some people that want to talk shit about like, oh, like, Granados is a sore loser, well, I mean, the difference between professional fighters and people that like to talk shit and dick ride certain fighters behind a keyboard is, you know, uh, fighters generally, if they're in some uh, a certain degree of a close fight and they're doing damage to an opponent and they're rocking the shit out of Porter the way that he's really never been rocked, um, I mean, this side of Thurman and even more worse than Thurman did, uh, I mean, you have every fucking right to believe that you won the damn fight. You know, he he fought hellacious close rounds against Porter and had him pretty much out on his feet for the entire last six minutes of the damn fight. So, um, you know, cry me a river with that bullshit. You know, all these people that that want to uh, beat, like, hate on Granados for, for whatever reason because he felt like he was successful in uh, ascertaining the, uh, a victory or a certain level of victory or a certain level of effectiveness that should have earned him a victory. Um, you know, that's, that's really what he did. You know, he, he, to me, this was a, basically a 6-6 six to six fight. Um, could have really gone either way. And so to, uh, to score 9-3 to three against Granados is, I think, doing a big disservice to him on top of the disservice that's already been done to him in the past um, in a number of fights, including the Broner fight, which he probably should have won that fight as well. Um, or not even probably. He really should have. Like, he, I, I'd say that he definitely deserved to win that fight more so than he did this one um necessarily but not the 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 margin really wasn't that different between the two fights it's really just two uh two different styles at the end of the day um and he fought in two different styles as a matter of fact too you know uh when Granado showed pretty good defense when uh on the occasion when he decided to use it almost like in a in a Whitaker ass fashion and Porter of course did the same back to him um, funny enough, but uh, it's, it seems like neither of them are necessarily the greatest at integrating that into um, their offensive maneuvers as well. Uh, but it was a fun fight, a fun fight to watch. Um, you aren't going to get too many um, 
situations like that, I think, where somebody's able to really back Porter off at his own game. Um, I, I think Spence probably could. But um, other than other than somebody like him, you know, it's it's real difficult. I mean, even Thurman was <laughs> going real heavy on the back foot when it came to um, Porter, kind of pushing him back and using kind of those NFL esque tactics against them. Um, Granados honestly should probably still go back to 140. Um, you know, now that it's pretty much wide open, he could potentially even take over the division, if not uh, at the very least, um, get himself some nice paydays, get himself a belt. Um, and, and what have you. Um, unfortunately, considering the, the recent history that he's had, um, I'd imagine he, he'll probably get tossed in there against uh, somebody like Omar Figueroa, and then he'll have to freaking knock Figueroa's lights clean out in order to, um, to get a decision <laughs> in that fight, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'd favor him in that fight, as a matter of fact. You know, in spite of the fact that I actually do think higher of uh, Figueroa, um, especially with the how brutally he destroyed Guerrero recently, but... Uh, that's for another day. Um, as for Porter, uh, you know he he got he fought himself right back into contention against Keith Thurman, uh, but Thurman apparently is at peace, as he said, <laughs> so uh, so frankly, I guess on um, on that interview, and it's, it's it's the way I see it is he it looks like he's going to be wasting everybody's time, the fans, the fighters, himself, his own. Um, it's it's a it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate that uh, two of the premier divisions, the welterweight and the heavyweight division, um, can't seem to get out of their own way in terms of uh, getting these these fights that, you know, even relative casuals to the sport are clamoring for. So I don't know what to say, man. This was a good fight. Um, you know, props to both fighters. Uh, it's a damn shame that that Granado Scott got done like that on the scorecards, way too wide. But um, yeah, I, I think they both have um, some, some excellent fights to be had ahead of them. But, uh, and hopefully, for Granados' sake, he doesn't uh, let this get him down. Like, say, like uh, Mauricio Herrera, like where I, I'd say is in a similar situation where um, the couple of robberies that he had against Garcia and, uh, and Benavidez really, like, mentally fucked that guy. And he hasn't been the same since. But it is what it is, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.